Hello everyone. I am so happy to see you again. Last night, Mr. Fox and I hosted 40 of our friends for drinks and nibbles. Everyone enjoyed the appetizers that were made by a local caterer. Today, I am going to make some very easy appetizers and also a classic beverage called wassail that you and I can enjoy in front of a fire in the parlor. But before we get cracking in the kitchen, we need to take a short drive to the local orchard. I need fresh apples and apple cider for the wassail recipe. We are headed to a large apple orchard called Golden Harvest Farm. The farm makes the best cider from their very own apples. The cider will be wonderful in the wassail we are going to make today. Here is the cider. And here are some Honeycrisp apples that I will add to the wassail. I also bought some cider donuts, just because. We are home again, and I am getting ready to make the wassail. Now, wassail is going to make this whole house smell terrific. The first thing I need to do is stud two of the Honeycrisp apples with cloves. I'm going to put about seven cloves in each apple. Wassail has been around for centuries. It was popularized in the song, Here we come a wassailing amongst the leaves of green. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too. I think you know that song. So I put the apples in my Dutch oven here. You could use any large pot. Then I need to measure out eight cups or about 1.9 liters of the apple cider that we bought at Golden Harvest Farm. In it goes. I'm also going to add two cups or 470 mils of orange juice. And one third cup or 80 mils of pure lemon juice. You could use fresh squeezed or this stuff. It's organic. For further perfume, I'm adding four cinnamon sticks. This is aromatic brown bark. Then I need a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger and another quarter teaspoon of ground or fresh nutmeg. Some recipes call for brown sugar, but I'm not going to add any sugar to this. I'm going to bring this to a simmer on the stovetop, and as I think I mentioned earlier, it's going to fill my entire house with a glorious perfume. On to the appetizers. The first one I'm going to make is sausage and cheese pinwheels. It uses puff pastry. And I have a couple of sweet Italian sausages here. You could use hot Italian sausage. I'm going to remove the casing and then I'm going to saute the sausage itself. onto the puff pastry. So this is one sheet of frozen but thawed puff pastry from a 490 gram package. 
And I'm going to roll this out just to remove the creases. Then brush one end of the puff pastry with beaten egg. You want a one inch border here. The egg is the glue that will hold the puff pastry together after we roll it up. Then I'm sprinkling the pastry with about two thirds of a cup or so of shredded cheese. You could use a Mexican blend of shredded cheese or an Italian blend, or really any good melty cheese that you like. Then I will sprinkle the pastry with some Italian seasoning. You could use just dried thyme leaves here. Then add the cooled, crumbled, cooked sausage. Then roll the pastry into a tight cylinder. If any of the filling falls out, just tuck it back in. You can make these pinwheels well ahead of time. Just wrap it up in parchment paper or in cling film and then pop it into the refrigerator or even the freezer. Now my pastry dough has gotten very soft in this time, so I'm going to pop it into the freezer for just five minutes. Also, pinch the ends to seal them. So my pastry is nice and cold now, and my oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. I'm going to slice this into, oh, half-inch rounds and transfer the rounds to a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm going to pop this into the preheated oven until the pastry puffs and browns. That's going to take from 12 to 15 minutes. These smell incredible. I cannot wait to tuck into one. And I'm going to let these cool on a wire rack. Next up is sausage and pineapple bites. These are super simple to make but they are surprisingly delicious to eat. So what I have here is one of those regular kielbasa type sausages that you can buy in any supermarket. These are already cooked. And I'm going to cut these into roughly half inch coins. Now that my sausage coins are prepared, I'm going to use some canned pineapple chunks to top the coins. Sausage, pineapple, skewer. And put this on a parchment lined cookie sheet. I'm going to bake these for just five minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. After these have baked for five minutes, give them a drizzle of either teriyaki sauce or I'm going to try this Thai sweet chili sauce. I'm definitely using oversized skewers here, so it's kind of difficult to drizzle this sauce, but I made it work. So back into the oven for five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
the Thai chili sauce has caramelized in the oven. These look terrific. Before I move on to the next appetizer, I want to tell you that the wassail that is simmering on my stovetop is emitting the most glorious perfume. I can't wait for you to taste it. This next appetizer requires no cooking at all. I'm making cucumber salmon bites. So I have a hothouse or English cucumber here. And I'm going to peel just certain sections of the cucumber for decorative effect. Now I need to cut the cucumber into roughly quarter inch rounds. And transfer the rounds to a platter. Now I need some salmon. This is smoked salmon. I'm going to cut it into little pieces. Cut the pieces just slightly longer than the cucumber rounds and then fold the salmon so that it will sit on top of the cucumber. I will write out the directions for each of these appetizers in the description below. I'm going to sprinkle the salmon with some fresh dill and to make the dill stick, I need a little bit of room temperature cream cheese. So I've put, oh, maybe two tablespoons of cream cheese in a little Ziploc bag. And then I'm going to cut off the tip and squeeze just a little dollop on top of each appetizer. Piping the cream cheese is a little easier said than done, but you can work with it. Chop some dill. Oh, I love the scent of dill. Cucumber, dill, and smoked salmon, perfect combination. I like to scatter the platter with a bit of dill. Very chic and oh, so simple to do. And here is the wassail that has been simmering on the stove for the last 40 minutes or so. I'm removing the apples. They have given their all. Now I'm going to strain the mixture through a mesh sieve right into my pitcher. I like to garnish the cups of wassail with apple slices and a stick of cinnamon. To stop the apple slice from browning, I am dipping it in lemon juice. If you'd like spiked wassail, you can absolutely add a sensible amount of brandy or whiskey or rum. Let's head into the parlor to enjoy the fruits of our admittedly very little labor. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holidays will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew 
This Christmas, I only want I love to share nibbles and a drink with you. And what a delicious drink it is. Holy cow. You have to try this. I'm going to start with one of the cucumber and salmon bites. You cannot go wrong with this flavor combination. Now, a sausage and pineapple bite with the Thai chili sauce. It's kind of a big bite. That pineapple really melts in your mouth. And of course, the sausage is absolutely delicious. You know, sausage is seasoned with garlic and herbs. Oh, it's just a wonderful flavor. And finally, a pinwheel, a puff pastry pinwheel. I've never had a better puff pastry pinwheel. I love the melty cheese and the sausage in these pinwheels. Absolutely delicious. A cold day, a warm fire, some delicious appetizers, which honestly were no trouble to make, some classic wassail, which may or may not be spiked at this point. Life is very good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope you are all having a wonderful holiday season. I can pop a couple of my other videos up here or up here that you can watch between now and my next upload. In the meantime, take good care of yourself, try one or all of these appetizers, and definitely try this wassail, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, friends.